Chris Kyle and I got in a fist fight, which does not put me in a rare category, but uh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so you were Chris Navy, liked to scrap. You were a Navy SEAL. I, did, I was. And so were you, you guys were in the service at the same time? We or? did. We served. Uh, Chris was at SEAL Team 7 when I was uh, on my first platoon at SEAL Team 1, so we uh, we crossed paths quite frequently. Oh, wow. What, what was the fight about? And we went fist to cuffs. Uh, it was just like some, some officer enlisted stuff, and we decided we'd work it out uh, um, behind the barracks uh, on the beach. You know, a little fist to cuffs. How'd you do? Um, uh, I did all right. You know, Chris is a big. He's, he's a, a big, big boy. He's a big guy, yeah, yeah, he's a big guy. But uh, you know. did you? Was did you? I go? think I earned my respect. And at the end of the day, uh, Chris Kyle and I had um, clashed heads a lot because we have sort of different outlooks and different philosophies. I will say that I saw Chris Kyle uh, at Shot Show about a month before he was killed, and he was working on veterans issues, and we were able to um, sort of break bread and. Uh, uh, and, and come together about working on, on veterans' issues afterwards. So we sort of reconciled it in the end. It's hard to separate Chris Kyle from the, the Bradley Cooper version of Chris Kyle uh, in the movie, but I have always thought, and so you're the, you're the exact right guy to ask, then, that asking somebody who killed either 150 or 250, whatever the number was, it's really irrelevant. It's a staggering number of people that he killed, right? Um, most killing, decorated sniper most in American Most decorated sniper in American history. Killing these people, and then the consensus, and he does four tours, and then the consensus after 2004, 2005, 2006, it's like, huh, you know what, we probably shouldn't have done that. We shouldn't have gone. I don't think our brains are equipped to deal with that. So Chris Kyle's sort of what appears to be blind refusal to acknowledge that 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 was not a righteous fight, that we weren't protecting freedom for Americans in, in Cleveland and Tulsa, is understandable that we can't say, kill 200 people in the name of the United States of America, and then afterwards gonna be like, ah, oh, it turns out, sorry, our bad. Is that a fair assessment of maybe what's going on inside the heads of some veterans? Yeah, absolutely, and I, and I think in, in all fairness to Chris, Chris was an extraordinary warrior. And, right. And he really, he really did believe and he was righteous about his his mission to use the word of the day. Right, but um, how do you? But I mean, I don't know that I. Could, do you? And think there you are could... guys like Chris who are break glass in case of war guys who like we absolutely need. Um, the problem is like once we break that glass, there's going to be shards on the ground, and it's really hard to to pick those pieces up. And I think Chris's struggle, uh, which he was very candid about, and he he really tried to help others with it afterwards. I think Chris's struggle is emblematic of the struggle of a lot of returning veterans. Right. Thanks. Well, okay. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of Chris Kyle. Uh, I think he's an enormous liar. Uh, I, and there's, he was not on the Superdome, and he was not shooting people during Hurricane Katrina. Uh, none of that is true. Um, and I, I met another sniper who said it, he was notorious among snipers for being a liar. Um, so you knew him. I know it's super awkward, especially because he passed away. Uh, but I got to ask you, what, what was your experience in that category? Um. I mean, I don't know. Did he fight Jesse Ventura? Like, I don't know. I know he fought me, but I don't know. If he, I don't know if he got in a bar fight with Jesse Ventura. I will tell you, Jesse Ventura has been ostracized for the SEAL community from the SEAL community for uh, for for going after Chris's uh, wife, his, his widow. Um, Even it, though the insurance is it, almost certainly going to cover that. Probably, probably, but still, still it's it's sort of a breaking of the brotherhood. It, it is totally, absolutely, yes, and, no question. Um, and he's really invoked the ire of our community uh, because of that. Um, no, I didn't know Chris well enough to know that. I just knew that we uh, we butted heads. Mm-hmm. On I think I, I, on I, training issues, like on respect issues, like mm-hmm. you know. If but it, I think all yeah. these things can be true. Like I'm incredibly sympathetic for the position that we put him in, like having done what we asked him he to do. He seemed to enjoy that position. Though. I got it. But like John Kerry said, it's one thing to risk your life for your country; it's something else to kill for your country. And then afterwards, to be essentially told whether it's told formally, but the mood in the country is no, we shouldn't have done that. We made a mistake. We should never have gone over there, uh, man. That is a that's our response. That's on us. Like we didn't. We sent him there, and mm-hmm. then we changed our minds uh, collectively as a country, recognizing too late that it was a giant mistake, and then asking him to say yes. Yeah, so unwind that in your head. The fact that you killed all these people, that's a lot to deal with. And maybe in in view of the late life shift of his to helping veterans, you know, the tragedy is I don't know where he would have been in four years, where his head would have been in four years. But it, would have, it might have been somewhere interesting. Yeah. And by the way, I, just for the record, I don't blame Jesse Ventura at all. The guy absolutely positively lied about him, made it up entirely. He's got every right to seek redress of that. And I mean, it's saying like, oh, he went after his wife. He, no, he went after the guy, and the guy happened to die, which is tragic, which everybody yeah. 
completely, utterly agrees is tragic, right? What was he supposed to do? Okay, the guy died. Okay, so uh, I, instead of proving that I was right, I'm just going to drop it. I, I don't know. I don't blame Ventura at all. But then I'm not a seal, so I'm not in that. Unless case. Chris actually cleaned his clock, you uh -huh, know. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been that would have been interesting twist in the story. <laughs>